What is a Eurail or Interrail Pass and how does it work? In this video, I am going to talk about train travel in Europe. We'll introduce you to the Eurail and Interrail Pass. Explain how it works, where to purchase it, and how to use it. And the pros and cons, price, and why you should get this amazing train pass. Imagine exploring iconic cities like Paris, Rome, and Barcelona with the freedom to travel at your own pace, hopping on and off the train as you please. With the Eurail and Interrail Pass, this dream becomes your reality. We'll go over the two most popular train passes for traveling through Europe, the Eurail Pass and the Interrail Pass. When it was founded in 1959, it provided a generation of college students and young tourists with a ticket that allowed them to travel freely throughout Europe. Using the Eurail Pass, visitors could travel as much as they wanted throughout Europe within a set period of time. Enthusiastic young globetrotters from around the globe eagerly embraced the opportunity presented by a special pass, granting them unfettered access to board trains at their leisure, embarking on journeys across Europe for as extensive a duration as they wished. Because travel costs started to drop, a mini revolution in travel occurred, providing many young students with access to Europe that they would not have otherwise had. Check out our video comparing the cost of taking the train or plane within Europe. Link in description. So what is the purpose of such an extensive train travel pass? Traveling by train throughout Europe has been made inexpensive and convenient, primarily by the use of an interrail pass or a Eurail pass. The main concept behind this European train pass is that you only need one ticket, your pass, and that you have an endless number of options for travel. So you can focus more on your map and travel guides instead of worrying about transportation costs. If you're getting value from this video, please like and subscribe, then turn on the notification bell for updates. It really helps our channel grow. Thanks. So, which type of train pass is the most appropriate for you? Because there are so many options available, it can be difficult to determine which type of pass is best for you at certain times. To determine whether or not the pass is a good value for you, you'll need to ask yourself a few key questions about your upcoming trip and make an educated guess as to how much time you'll spend on the road. Are you planning to stay in Europe for an extended period of time? Which countries do you intend to visit in the near future? In addition, how many cities are there in total on your list? Which pass you should purchase is determined first and foremost by where you want to go on your vacation. If you only intend to travel to a single country, you can purchase a one-country pass for that particular area. In order to visit multiple countries, the Global Pass, which is valid in 33 European countries, is the most cost-effective option for you. If you intend to travel on the European train network for more than a few days, choose a pass that corresponds to that number of days. There are a variety of lengths available for these so-called travel days, ranging from four days to three months. First and foremost, let's discuss the specifics of obtaining a Eurail Pass. In Europe, a Eurail Pass is a single train ticket that allows you to travel on virtually all trains throughout the continent. Eurail, as opposed to traditional train tickets, allows you to travel whenever and wherever you want. There are some trains that require reservations. However, the vast majority of trains can be boarded simply by showing your pass. Is it true that children are entitled to free transportation? Yes, two children between the ages of 2 and 11 can travel for free with an adult. What is the procedure for obtaining my pass? Order the physical pass online in your home country and it will be delivered to your door. It is imperative that you order the pass as soon as possible. After all, you don't want to be checking your mailbox every day when you have a flight scheduled in seven days. Make your preparations in advance. When you place your order, you can choose to have a mobile pass emailed to you if that is what you prefer. How do I start my journey and validate the pass? When you first board the train, you must validate your train pass. It is also required to be authenticated on your first rail journey as well. Before using your pass for the first time, you must have it validated at any ticket office of any European train station before using it again. A ticket controller will approach you after you have boarded the train to begin your journey, and he or she will conduct a check on your ticket. He may also request to see your passport. This is standard throughout Europe, so don't take offense to it. You're not being singled out, so just relax. I strongly recommend that you have a physical copy of your rail pass on you at all times and do not rely on an electronic version. How much does the Eurail Pass cost? I purchased my Eurail Global Pass in the early 90s for about $375. See my links in the video description for more information as prices and discounts may fluctuate. I am going to focus on the Global Pass since it is the most popular. The following prices are for second class tickets. For backpackers or anyone who might want to spend three months in Europe, you will get the most bang for your buck for sure. Highlights of the three month unlimited train pass include travel on as many trains as you like for three months straight, perfect for a fast-paced, flexible trip. 
Every day can be a travel day if you choose. Plan out your route or simply wake up and decide where to go next. It's up to you. Sample pricing for the Global Pass on Eurail. 90 days, 12 to 27 years old, around $789. This is a dream for the European backpacker. 90 days, 28 and up, roughly $1,100. 30 days, 12 to 27 years old, approximately $600. 30 days, 28 and up, about $750. Eurail also has passes that are for shorter stays. There are also options from four days up to a month. See their website for more details. Keep in mind that the Eurail Pass is available to non-European residents only. The great thing about Eurail is that there are no blackout dates or restrictions on how many times you can use your pass. And if you're feeling adventurous, you could even try out one of the overnight sleeper trains. Be sure to check out our video about using sleeper trains. Link in description. Types of Eurail Passes. The Global Pass is valid in around 33 participating countries. List of countries in the description below. The One Country Pass permits travel on the national rail network of one country with unlimited trips on each travel day. Countries without One Country Passes include Bosnia and Herzegovina, Germany, Montenegro, and Switzerland. Should I take first or second class? You have the option of selecting either the first or second class for your pass. Given that you will be traveling in first class coaches, the first class pass is slightly more comfortable and will make your journey a little more pleasant. There is more space between the seats, and it is typically less crowded than other seating options. In addition, there are power outlets and, in some cases, complimentary water available. First class is not available on all routes operated by Eurail and Interrail. Second class is perfectly acceptable with very little difference. What is the procedure for making a reservation? Although reservations are not required for local or regional trains for Eurail Pass subscribers, they are required for the majority of high-speed, international and overnight trains, including the Eurostar. Seat reservations, lunches, drinks, and complimentary Wi-Fi are all frequently subject to surcharges, as is the case with most restaurants. Reserve your seat at the station, online at the carrier's website, on the Eurail website in the Rail Planner app, or by phone. Most French trains require reservations, unless it's a local train from one small community to another. If you're traveling alone, I would also recommend our video on the benefits of traveling solo in the description below. Now let's talk about the Interrail Pass. The Interrail Pass is a single train pass that lets you travel as much as you want on participating European train networks for a set amount of travel days. There are a variety of travel date periods to choose from, ranging from as little as four travel days up to a maximum of three months in length. The pass is the European version of the Eurail Pass. Proof of citizenship must be established with a passport or identity card, and proof of residency must be established with government-issued residency documents in order to obtain an Interrail Pass. Just like the Eurail Pass, you can travel with an Interrail Global Pass, which is valid in 33 European countries, or pick one of the Interrail One Country Passes. In terms of pricing, both passes are very similar, so be sure to read the video description for more information as well as website links to both locations. Preparing for your trip. Use their official Rail Planner app, which is available for both Apple and Android devices, to make your travels through Europe more convenient and stress-free. Before you leave your home country, make sure you have the app downloaded. Prepare the app in advance by entering your contact information and travel itinerary. Using Rail Planner, you can create an itinerary for your trip through Europe, see the different types of trains you can take, see the connections available for your destination city, and determine whether or not you need to make a seat reservation. The app was created by Eurail, and the best part is that it is also accessible while not connected to the internet. Is the train pass a good investment? If you're only planning on visiting a few towns, I think the pass is a waste of money. This is an instance where purchasing a simple A to B train ticket, or even better, a plane ticket, will be less expensive and more beneficial for you. If you intend to travel extensively throughout Europe for an extended period of time while maintaining your flexibility, the pass should be beneficial. This is especially true if you plan to travel to a number of cities that are dispersed throughout the country during your trip. For those who have plenty of time on their hands and want to see as many cities as possible, the Interrail or Eurail Global Pass is an option to consider for sure. While traveling in Europe, be sure to hit the beach and relax. Click here to see our video on topless and nude beach etiquette. Comment below with something interesting, strange, or exciting that happened to you while on the train. Wishing you a safe and enjoyable trip.